Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ivan Midhu Guizd, the guitar player from Norway's biggest and the meanest death metal band, Blood Red Throne, and also the mastermind behind that motherfucking son of a shotgun. I'm giving a big hell yeah to Death Throne Records for having me on this interview. Sub subscribe, sub 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 subscribe, subscribe on Death Throne Records on YouTube. Let's get it! Thank you so much, I'm doing pretty, pretty fucking great. Uh, even though through these uh, strange and uh, difficult times, if you may, I'm doing pretty alright. Um, the uh, effects of all this craziness going around with the virus and shit like that uh, is... Um, uh, there, there ain't no shows. We aren't playing shows. Things are getting uh, cancelled, and uh, it is how it is. But then, on the other side, I just want to say that I'm pretty proud of everything that's been going around with uh, Blood Red Throne and Son of a Shotgun. We nailed a uh, uh, record deal with Nuclear Blast and um, Emancipation Production. It's a part of Target, a Danish big company, uh, and, um, yeah, positive things are, uh, happening, and so on, and so on. I listen to a lot of different kind of shit, I'll be honest with you, it could be well, I'm a huge blues fan. I listen to a lot of blues. Uh, I listen to a lot of uh, Bosnian and Serbian folk music. I listen to a lot of uh, I've been even some of that pop stuff, you know, from the '90s and stuff like that. You know, just to uh, you know reminisce on the old times. So uh, it also gives me an inspiration to. Right music. I get ideas from a lot of uh, different genres that I'm a fan of, and I just incorporate that into uh, it's heavy music. <music> Story of Blood Red Throne started in 1998. By uh, Daniel Dud Olaisen and um, Terry Shea Short. They were in um, Satyricon a couple of years. They met up, wanted to start a death metal band. And uh, from early on, or in the beginning of the band, things just uh, escalated, and uh, I joined the band in nineteen. Wait, I mean, two thousand and nineteen. If I uh, no, 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 fuck that. That's, no, two thousand and nine, <laughs> not nineteen, but two thousand and nine, um, and I've known. Most of the guys that I play in Blood Red Throne, we got some newcomers and stuff like that, and uh, we just uh, I moved to Christian Sand. That's where I, that's where our hometown is, per se, and um, we sort of kicked off, you know, because we're in the same uh, com heavy music community community and. Uh, I saw one day that Blood Red Throne needed a session guitar player. So I got the job and one year later I was a full-blown member of the band. So uh, 
<sighs> yeah, I've been with those motherfuckers for uh, since na- to 2009. And uh, I'm uh, pretty, uh, pretty proud of that. Been through a lot, uh, a lot of touring, toured the states, Canada, Mexico, South, uh, South America, uh, Europe, uh, numerous of times, UK, Scandinavia, of course, you know. So uh, things are blowing up, you know. We had some ups and downs, but uh, I really like the way things are uh, rolling with Blood Red Throne these days. I mean, being on the biggest metal label, you know, in the goddamn world, you know, it's uh, it's pretty fucking awesome. Nuclear blast. Let's get that shit. Well, as a band, we never practice together, or maybe maybe once in a year or some shit like that, because um, Freddie, our drummer, he lives in Kristiansund, now that's north of Norway. Uh, we got the Bolt. Ingvar Bolt Kristiansen, he is uh, in Oslo, that's five hours away from here, and the rest of us are uh, here in Kristiansand. So we we don't meet up for no practice, you know, we practice at home and just meet up on stage and just fucking start kicking ass, you know, that that's that's how we do it, you know, because everybody lives so far away. Um, when it comes to the recording session, guitars and bass on uh, Imperial Congregation was done at Daniel's studio, home studio. Vocals that was done at Bolt's place and uh, Freddie, our drummer, he uh, did it at his uh, recording home recording or whatever you want to call it. So, um, Daniel writes his shit, I come up with my shit, and uh, I meet up at his place, and we just start, just start nailing shit down and uh, combine all those fucking things, you know, together and uh, listen to it, see if everything is uh, up to the high standards, and uh, that's how it rolls. The writing process. Well, I'd say um, when a song is done, how do you know when a song is done? I'd say it's all about the feel of the song, you know? It's, uh, a tricky question, but it comes from the soul, you know, you just gotta, when you listen to a song, and it gives you that fucking hype, and, you know, just like, pounces out from A to the K, you are, uh, and you're satisfied with the motherfucker, you know, and, uh, literally... That's how it goes, you know, just uh, nail it down, listen to it, if you want to change some shit, you do that, if you want to add some shit like that, you, I mean, you do what you want to do. What I prefer to do is, uh, I got my material, and it's important that Daniel brings his material with my material, so uh, we get that legit Blood Red Throne sound on on the songs. Well, Bolt is the one who writes all the lyrics. He's a kick-ass poet. I mean, some of the words and stuff like that, you know, it could be a, 
a bit hard for me to understand, you know. But, uh, I mean, what you get is uh, nastiness. You get all that fucking... Hard to explain, you know, but, you know, you I, I, I wouldn't say it's uh, extremely gory, you know, but in a poetic poetic way, it's uh, violent and brutal, you know. Working with nuclear blast. It's a fucking blast. Damn straight. Um... I mean, being, a, a, yet again, being on the biggest um, record label in the world, you know, it just says, says itself, and uh, we're pretty satisfied with the job that they're doing, I mean, on YouTube and on Spotify and shit like that, things are blowing up, I mean... Uh, the views and the listening, uh, what you call it, listening rates and shit like that, it's fucking go going through the goddamn motherfucking roof, you know, so, uh, hell yeah, hell yeah, we got a music video coming around and lyric, lyric videos and shit like that, so, uh, hell yeah, shoot whiskey, andale. When it comes to shows in 2001, uh, I don't see anything happening in 2001. It's, uh, it's a fucked up situation. We were supposed to play on Spetakel Festival. Um, I mean, nothing. Um, it just got postponed this year, too. And... Um, I mean, it's important not to frustrate yourself, even though sometimes you just want to, like, fucking pull your hair out, you know. I've been doing shows since I was 16 years old, you know, and I'm, now there's, like, nothing. So, uh, it's strange, you know, but uh, in 2002, everything that's postponed from this year is going to be next year. So, I believe there's going to be a shitload to do. Cross the fingers, you know, I don't want to jinx myself or anything, you know, we, we, um, we'll see what the hell's going to happen next year. But uh, touring and uh, a lot of festival jobs, you know, so uh, I'm really looking for forward to next year. Absolutely. Norwegian metal scene. Um, I don't know what to say, you know. Sort of a... Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know what to say when it comes to that. You know, we got a lot of fans here. We got a lot of uh, people are into, into this kind of music and shit like that, you know. But... Uh, uh, yeah, um, it's not bad, but it's not extremely good too, you know, I don't know, I don't want to push it down to the mother or anything, you know, but uh, I wish uh, that people could stick more together, you know, when it comes to, to this uh, sort of metal scene in Norway. We got some divided god damn I'm talking out of my fucking ass. That's a diff difficult fucking question. <laughs> oh yeah. It's good. It's good. My favorite drinks. Whiskey. Whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, and uh, let me think. Let me, oh, whiskey, definitely whiskey. <laughs> My 
favorite movies. Lepa sela, lepo gore. Rane. Dule Savic. Um, hills have eyes. Slaughtered, vomit dolls. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I spit on your grave. Yeah. The remake. I want to thank all of our fans worldwide for uh, listening to our music, checking out this interview, showing up to shows, buying our music, and supporting us. You motherfuckers are the best motherfuckers in the goddamn world. Uh, Imperial Congregation will be out in October. Uh, we got lyrical uh, videos and a music video coming out this year. Join us on Facebook, join us on um, YouTube, Spotify, of course. My side project, Son of a Shotgun, we're releasing an album called uh, Be For Salle, September 11th, go figure. Um, Son of a Shotgun is also on Facebook, Bandcamp. All that shit, you know, Spotify and stuff like that. And, um, thank you all. Stay fucking brutal. Stay, stay safe in these uh, strange times and shoot some fucking whiskey, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it! <laughs>